This is the Milokan type of politics. Who killed Funja Williams? Who killed Bolaige? Who killed Marshall Harry? By eliminating opponents, the practitioners of the policies of elimination deprive the nation of leaders who are more often than not that insist on one's turn even if circumstances do not align. Politics of entitlement also not with the intent to serve but to gratify long-term personal ambitions. Now look at the prayer I prayed. One day I prayed. You know the prayer I prayed? I told God, as many that will collect 4,000 or 10,000 to sell their vote. They never see more than 10,000 in another... Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Now welcome to this YouTube channel. If you didn't first time you see this channel, make it enough to hit on the red subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. And if you didn't first time you see this Facebook page, picking this blog, making no fit to like and follow this page for more videos to update to come your way. My people, one that shall never end. Obedience, share this video. Guys, I don't go on wasting that time. Make a play video for now for Pastor Tunde Bakari. More than a year waiting Pastor Tunde Bakari talk for this video. He don't turn it back on Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Guys, watch this video. Not be only one who, another pastor sit there here where he say, anybody will collect 4,000 naira or anything at all from any presidential candidate to say their vote, say their future. It's not that money they go to chop, they go to... Guys, not my mouth, not go for you. Please share this video. Make one hear from the right sources. Pastor Tunde Bakari say, who oh, give our IP to so and so person? Who oh, give our IP to so and so person? Guys, make one hear from this set of people. They will they come back, come put our own take on this issue. Share this video. Not let this video slide though. Not let her pass you by. Help me to share this video. You the watcher for YouTube or on Facebook. Anyway, you don't say you the watcher. Help me share her. Guys, watch this video. They will come back again. First, make I play Pastor Tunde Bakari for now. Make I hear what you talk. Concerning Bola Ahmed Tinibu, you don't back down from Bola Ahmed Tinibu. Watch this video. They will come back. Politics of elimination. When we think of the politics of elimination, we remember our nation's unresolved political assassinations and the lingering questions they elicit. Who killed Funja Williams? Who killed Bolaige? Who killed Marshall Harry? Who killed Victoria Chintex? By eliminating opponents, the practitioners of the policies of elimination deprive the nation of leaders who are more often than not better than themselves. Number 10, politics of entitlement. This is the Milokan type of politics that insists on one's turn even if circumstances do not align. Politics of entitlement also manifests as perennial candidacy, not with the intent to serve, but to gratify long-term personal ambitions. It could also manifest as insistence on a given political office as a reward for what one considers a lifetime of sacrifice to the nation. Politicians with a sense of entitlement evade political debates. They do not consider it imperative to communicate with the electorate. Entitlement politics will breed an imperial presidency that is distant from the people and has no sense of responsibility or accountability to the people. Such imperial governance will slide towards dictatorship and will be intolerant of dissent. Entitlement politicians set low performance benchmarks for themselves when they secure power and are content with projecting more hills as mountains of achievement. Just to use the election coming as example. Here yeah, they will give some people one cup of garlic, one cup of rice, one cup of beans, and they will sell. And they will be in them. Meanwhile, you have mortgaged your destiny. Go the other day. Go for me, but in a prayer. Now look at the prayer I prayed. One day I prayed. You know the prayer? I told God, as many that will collect 4,000 or 10,000 to sell their vote. It didn't ever see more than 10,000 in another Amen. No. May they never see more than 10,000 in their life again. Amen. Anybody who will collect 10,000, they said their vote. May they not see more than 10,000 in their life again. Also, 10,000, they will see you. Oh, they don't go see past 10,000. Guys, say an amen to that prayer. God will bless you, Pastor. I want to see you from Pastor Tunde Bakari. When I hear waiting, you talk. Any opposition where they contest, follow APC. What did they have to do? They call the short. Guys, see, eh? All these people, when I don't say Pastor Tunde Bakari, na APC in B. When I don't say they support Bola Ahmed before, but right now he don't back down. He say no go fit support 
People will be saying the toxin on my tongue. All those ones say the toxin on my tongue. They don't get the country for mine. They don't go free, make that country be what it won't be. Then they go there because of say yes. They won't go say that they are torn. They won't go there, won't go say okay now you don't now are torn to rule. Not be saying that they go there because say they know what they won't go do for that place. No. Now be bola me tinibu. Bola me tinibu. You don't know what you won't go do for that place at all. You don't know what you won't go do. So me and the tell una una when they say bola me tinibu, he do this. Bola me tinibu never done anything in Nigeria. Go that Lagos one and the tossy bola me do. He don't do anything. Bola me tinibu. The the the, the the purpose of coming to Nigeria to rule as president now got for that reason things that he won't come to and now what you will not need for Nigeria now what you will not need for Nigeria at all got for that reason we don't need it in Nigeria Bola Bola met in the book he go do got for that reason dictatorship now here today you see all those things now what you want abolish for Nigeria nobody support Bola met in the book now this pastor now will be seen yesterday he they support Bola met in the book before he said no. All they said the poor, we don't need them in power. They don't know anything. On our way, the youth when they support Bola Mechi Nibu, please, now feel think twice. On our feel sit down, rethink. On our go, no, say, Bola Mechi Nibu is not fit for this job. Bola Mechi Nibu, he not go feel run Nigeria as president. When Bola Mechi Nibu come as president to Nigeria, believe me, you that country, eh? On our go regret when I vote in Bola Mechi Nibu. Believe me. On our say, Bola Mechi Nibu is not fit. Bola Metinibu get a lot of atrocity where this man don't do. But because of say, on a blind now, on a no, let me say on a blind, on a no, but because of say, on a default, na my party, na my tribe, na my this one, now I think they say, okay, no, I'll put Bola Metinibu. Bola Metinibu, in no notification, that man cannot run that country. We've observed Bola Metinibu in our perspective. We've looked round. Bola Metinibu is not fit. Bola Metinibu is sick. Bola Metinibu, he don't have the, 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 the quality, the quality qualities to become president in Nigeria. You don't have the credentials. You don't have anything. Nothing this man have. So, me, I wonder why Nigeria leaders, some of these Nigerian leaders who they call themselves leaders, and some of these Nigerian citizens, where they say they call themselves youths, where they keep on the support ball I made in the book. Like, sometimes, I keep wondering why are you guys supporting this guy? And how do I see this written on the world that this man is old? And you guys still want this man to become your president? Like, How? On what civilized world or country have you ever seen an old man of 86 years running a country like, you know, president? You know, I don't see, apart from only Africa and all these things, they happen. Come to this Western world. You will not see 87 years old man still running in the power as president. It's not done. But only in Africa, such things happen. That's why we said we are the first who's going to put an end to this issue, to this 87 years presidency in Africa. We're going to end it with Peter Obi. So that's why we said, please support Peter Obi. Allow Peter Obi to become the president of Nigeria. Nigeria, not only Nigeria, Africa will be great again because Nigeria is the art of Africa. Yes, Nigeria is the art of Africa. Nigeria or Africa. As far as say, Africa is concerned, Nigeria is number one. So that's why we say we need to change every narrative about Nigeria by kicking away all these old cabars. We want junk blood. That's why we said we want Peter Obi to become the president of Nigeria. Support Peter Obi, not Bola Ametinibu. Bola Ametinibu coming to Nigeria is going to change that country. Not only change that country, make Africa condemn. It will condemn Africa. I'm telling you guys, Africans, get this and get this into your head. So we all should stand together and support support Peter Obi. I don't care the African country when I come for support Peter Obi. From your country, they say when Nigeria voted Peter Obi. Any country you know say you for come. Any African country we you know say you did. From your country, they say vote Peter Obi, vote Peter Obi because Tinibu cannot run Nigeria. We need Peter Obi. Peter Obi can restore Africa. Peter Obi can restore Africa. Yes. So let's vote in Peter Obi because when Nigeria are better, the full Africa will be better. Yes, because uh, because in Nigeria get the way be and then the, the rest Africa countries get the way be. But believe me, you when Peter Obi come, Africa will be great again. Yes, so that's why we say we don't need Bola Metinibu. Bola Metinibu no go feed do anything for Nigeria. Instead, it go embezzle more, steal more for that country. Guys, I will end this video here, please. 
when I hear from Pastor Tude Bakari and the other pastor, is there anybody that will collect 10,000 or 4,000 naira from any politicians and so that 4,000 they go to eat to go for their life or 10,000 they go to eat to go for their life? They don't go, they don't go see, join that 10,000, they don't go, that is an ugly that 10,000 they go get. So far, go hold them. On a year from Pastor Tudy Bakari, nobody support Bola Amet Tinibu. Bola Amet Tinibu is a dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. Nobody support that man. That man not go make Nigeria better. I will end this video here. Please help me to share this video. As you do so, God bless you. God will bless you, Pastor Tudy Bakari and the other pastor. I know your name, but God will bless both of them for this message you will pass. So please help me share out this video. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye bye.